Hey Pellerinos, it's been a long time since we've done a duvet chat and I don't think we've ever done one where I'm drinking wine but that's where we're at emotionally so cheers. <sighs> Having a week. <laughs> you know those weeks where everything just feels like it's going wrong? <laughs> um, it's not, I'm just mental and unfortunately I just have to suck that up for possibly ever. The cats are screaming because it's almost dinner time. That's how with it we are whilst managing this today. I really enjoyed making Reformation Rambles. I know some of you didn't like it because I got your comments, thanks! It meant a lot on my passion project. <laughs> you don't have to watch it, like there's no contract signed. But I really enjoyed making it and those of you who enjoyed watching it I do appreciate everything you've said. I don't know. I find it kind of exhausting that God, I've six, five, six years since I made an ill-advised video. The only comments I get are about my boobs. Still, I work really hard writing videos, trying to teach myself all these skills I never had the opportunity to learn. And it feels a bit like a kick in the face, you know? Well that got deep fast didn't it? We didn't need that. We didn't need it to get deep fast. Let's be more jovial. It's hard to be jovial. Every day I open Twitter and it feels like the world's nearer its end. For the record, if you don't support the Black Lives Matter movement and you don't think trans people deserve rights, unsubscribe right the fuck now. <laughs> we don't have time for that shit here. Educate yourselves, it's 2020, it's so easy to do. It was by visibility day yesterday. Um, I don't think I was at my most visible. I, I'm having a bit of a depression week. And by a bit, I mean a lot. My meds got upped recently and I don't know if I'm adapting to the dosage or I'm not and I just need to go back down to the fucking dose I was on before. It's really fun working out what antidepressants work for you. I will make a video about all the antidepressants I've tried at some point. Um, but I'm a little apprehensive to make it in case people interpret it as this doesn't work for anyone when actually mental health is very individualised. What doesn't work for me could save your life. Um, I'm sure the drug that saved my life, metazapine, has done other people in. Like We don't know enough about it. Work is chaos. I've been picking up extra shifts to the possibly to my detriment. I don't feel like I've slept in weeks. One of my cli long-term clients um, hired someone in-house to do work I've been doing for them lately. So if you need someone to manage your social media, I've got a whole lot of time freed up in my schedule now. <laughs> I don't know. I love what I do. I love the job that's like my day job. I love all my freelance things and I wouldn't change them for the world, not really. But I also know I let them take over and I don't really give myself a break to the point where sometimes my housemate walks downstairs and he's like just do nothing because I don't do nothing ever I don't know the last TV chat was about YouTube and community and how I finally felt like I was getting it back and I really did last year I was writing for 1080 and I met a bunch of new people as well as the people I worked with and it was amazing and of course that didn't happen this year thanks Covid um, actually no, thanks the British government for being so shit at managing this. Fuck you. This is a very nothing video, but I know some of you like my life updates. And you know what? I liked doing my duvet chats when I did them. And then I looked and the last one was before I lived in this house that I moved into three years ago. So it's been longer than I thought. It really has. Time is an illusion, you fuck. I have planned all my videos for the next year. This was always going to be an update video. Possibly it was originally going to be a bit more formal than this, but fuck it. Some of you guys have been here for 10 years. Just to that. I sometimes wonder what kind of role YouTube is going to play in my life. There seems to be this overwhelming thing where you need to be 
making money from it to be succeeding but I also know that I get joy from this because I have the freedom to create whatever the fuck I want if I want to do a history series one week and a poetry video the next that's fine because there's no desperate need to grow there's no need to stay relevant I can just think that's neat and make it <laughs> just me in the house today which is re really weird until about a month ago this corner I'm sat in was my bedroom but then my ex-wife moved out and my housemates are her boyfriend's house and the house feels very oddly empty even though the cats are screaming constantly I'm fine with that I, I love that they're screaming constantly there's no big message I'm trying to impart here it's just the usual casual bollocks streaming out my mouth I feel quite grateful that YouTube is a hobby and always will be and I think there's this intense pressure to make any hobby into something of monetary value and I know that sounds like I'm being a dick given that I have a Patreon and I ask if people would like to donate to my PayPal but honestly that money all goes towards equipment this camera I've just bought because up until a month ago I was using my ex's camera was um, a lot more than I make <laughs> off any of those streams let me tell you <laughs> and I want to invest in lighting and mics and maybe eventually a green screen and better editing software but you know it, it's not essential I can just sit and waffle to a camera and that's fine Gemma Donnell made a video recently I'll put a link to it somewhere if it's not there will be in the description and she talked about how the times when she loved doing YouTube the times when it mattered were the times when she felt she was building community where people were talking to each other and to her in the comments and where she really felt like the people watching her channel were connected in some way and I think that's always what I've wanted from YouTube it's why I when it was possible hosted gatherings in Liverpool hello Frankie and why I always really try and get to know as many people as possible and try and talk to people on Twitter as long as they don't open with a message about my boobs because that's just you wouldn't do it to a stranger would you you wouldn't walk up to someone and open with a comment about the boobs so just don't do it it's so easy <laughs> yeah indeed and I I really like that there are a couple of people jumping out in my head who I talk to on Twitter who I know came from my channel there's a person on Instagram who I talk to semi-regularly who came from my channel and that's that's just great isn't it like isn't that cool I'm trying to be more consistent on here not because the algorithm favors it although that helps like obviously I'm making things and I want people to see them I don't think there's any shame in that but because it's nice I have this little ritual where I set up a camera and tripod and I waffle on and like a hundred people can watch it and I'll meet that imagine telling that to someone in like the 90s that this was a thing that I'd be doing like no I love it and I'm so grateful that I get to do it I'm so grateful that I get to write I'm so grateful but also I have burnt myself out the fuck I have and I need to stop doing that stop kicking your tripod you prick but again this isn't meant to be some big speech some big meaningful video this is just the catch up between friends and I hope you guys are doing well whatever you're up to whether it's a big project or a small one just let me know in the comments or tweet me at bobbins leak like everywhere else i have had to shut off a lot of private messages from people i don't know just because i was getting some really horrible weird shit um i know that doesn't represent most of you guys but the very few who it does it, it was horrible and I, it was making me quite ill so i've shut off my Instagram and Facebook messages for that reason 
it's not because I hate communicating with people, it's just because some of them were downright nasty, like, no, I don't need to get into this. It is Thursday, I whilst I'm filming this, it's not going to go up till next Tuesday because there's there are big pauses here and they need removing and I need to actually put subtitles on this. Um, whether you use them or not, I think it's very important to subtitle content if you're able to. Not only can more people, like, watch your shit, it's just... Accessibility matters, you know? Oh my god, I'm not even drunk, I'm just a dick. I found... that Twitter which is my preferred social media like let's not front it's my go-to when everything else gets deleted that's what I go back to most of my friends are on there and I do enjoy a lot of the things I see on there and today I opened it and all I saw was depression and sorrow and that's not anyone's fault um obviously the Breonna Taylor that it came in today it became apparent that our government wasn't going to help a lot of self-employed people and also all the usual stuff that we've had for months and months and months yeah and it's exhausting um i'm not gonna delete it <laughs> sounds like i'm contradicting myself i have never really felt the urge to delete twitter i think it is my main point of connection to a lot of people and I think I rely on it quite heavily to maintain some relationships and I don't think that's a bad thing I think that's what it should be used for I think that's its design but because the world is awful at the minute I need to learn when I need to step away from it maybe we all do um, I don't know I am waffling on I've meant to end this three times already and it's not happening yes you I know it's nearly dinner time, but it's not dinner time yet. Leave me a comment, let me know what you're up to. Too. Yeah, I do actually care, contrary to popular belief. Yes, I have seen those forums. Thanks, guys. And, yeah, I, I can't wait to chat with you all in the comments. If you liked this for some reason, give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with a much more put together, possibly scripted, or at least have notes video. Bye.